Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to analyze this problem in mathematics where we are told to find the approximate value of the following without using calculator. Roman figure 1, the square root of one the square root of 4.02 Roman figure 2 square root of 8.96 Roman figure 3 1 divided by square root of 9.02 4 0 0.98 to the power of 3 and 5 1.02 to the power of 4 now we will see how we can analyze this now one of the way we can use analyze this problem is by using binomial expansion because the question says without using calculator right so how are we going to do that so let's see Now using binomial expansion to analyze this binomial theorem, let's take the first one solution so the solution here is this it says the square root of what? 4.02 right? now recall Recall when you recall when you have um, the square root of a x, right? The root x of a to the power of what y. It is going to give us um, a y. Right over x. This is the rule. So, if I want to rewrite this, therefore, my 4.02 square root will give us 4.02 to the power of what? 1 over 2. Because it's a root sign. So, there's a silent 2 here and there's a silent 1 here. Right? So, if I move forward, from here, you ask yourself, what will I add with 4 that will give me 4.02? We know it is what? 0 0.02. So it means that this will give me 4 plus 0 0.02 to the power of what? 1 over 2. Right? Now, the next thing we'll do is to make this 4 1. Because the man here must, must always be 1, not any other value but what? But 1, for we to use our binomial theorem to analyze it. So, first thing you have to do, you need to factorize. Factorize it in the aspect by what? Bringing out your 4. So, bring out my 4. If I bring out the 4, I'm going to have, that means I'll divide through by what? I'll divide through by 4. Right? Everything to the power of what? 1 over 2. So, from here, if I do that, I'll be having 4 here, into brackets, 4 over 4 is 1, plus 0 0.02 over 4 will give us 0 0.005, 0 0.005, right? And I still have everything to the power of what? 1 over 2. Are we together? Now, recall also recall if i have a m to the power of what to the power of n is going to give me a n m n right so from here if i should write this i mean this one over two will now become four one over two into bracket one plus zero point zero zero five 1 over 2. So I've expanded this. Now the key word is this is 1. So if I compare this with 1 plus t to the power of what? n. Right? So it simply means that my n is equal to 1 over 2 and my t is equal to 0 0.005. Is that taken? Now, from here, we know that recall also there's a formula that says that if I have um, one plus 
t to the power of what n it is going to give me 1 plus nt plus n bracket n minus 1 t square over 2 factorial plus n bracket n minus 1 n minus 2 t cube over what 3 factorial continues plus n bracket n minus 1 n minus 2 right n minus 2 n minus 3 t 4 over what 4 factorial t infinity right so now the good news is i'm analyzing this now so i'll not put that therefore therefore so therefore i cannot say that my 4 1 over 2 since you are saying the square root of what 4 right into brackets um 1 plus 0 0.005 right to the power of what 1 over 2 uh, 1 over 2 now this will not give me this is 1 and this is 1 right n is what 1 over 2 I'm going to place 1 over 2 multiplied by t t is what 0 0.005 I'll start putting the value now plus I have n here right so n is what 1 over 2 I'll place my 1 over 2 there. I also have another n again, 1 over 2, right? So, minus 1. Then the t is what? 0 0.005 to the power of what? 2. Everything over what? 2 factorial. I'm going to stop there. Why am I stopping there? If you recall my previous video, I said whenever you are expanding any value, right? If you have 2, you need to move it into 3 places. If you have three, you move it into what four places. If you have four, you move into what five places. Now the good news is this is two. That's why I'm only taking the first three. One, two, three. As mean this is three, it will be one, two, three, four. As mean this is four, it will be one, two, three, four, five. That I will take. So that's how it goes. So from here, I will not start. If I this is one, I will not start. Now the key word is I have a root of four here. So. I will put the root of 4 outside. Either I like, I place the root of 4 here, which is what? I'll place it here, root of 4. Or I place it in front. You know, multiplication is associative. Now, what is my root of 4? My root of 4 is 2. So I'll put it here. Anywhere I like, I place it as far as outside the bracket. So into bracket, 1 plus. Now, 1 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.05 divided by 2. And that is going to give us what? That will give us 0 0.0025. So I have 0 0.0025, right? So plus, I have uh, 1 over 2 into bracket. 1 over 2 minus 1 will give us minus 1 over 2. Give us minus 1 over 2. Give us minus 1 over 2, right? And uh, 0 0.005 square is going to give us... 0 0.000025 right when you square 0 0.05 from here now if you do you need full this will give us 2 2 into bracket 1 plus this will give us 1.0 point 1.0025 right minus times plus will give you minus half times half will give you 1 all over 4 multiplied by 0 0.0000 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 5. Right? So, from here, I'm going to have this. There's a 2 factorial here. Let's not let that go. And also, there's a 2 factorial here also. Right? So, if you do the need 2 here, I have 2 here. I open the bracket and I still have my 1.0025. Then I have my minus. So if you multiply 1 times this to give you this, divided by 4, I'm going to have in 0 0.12345, then 3125, right? So now, everything, when you multiply, divide this by 4 and divide it by 2 factorial, you'll be having this. 
And when you subtract these two, you are going to be having 2 into brackets 1.002497. So if you multiply 2 times this, it will give us 2.0049. 2.0049. So this is the approximate value of this. So if you come here and you press in your calculator the square root of 4.02 right it will surely give you um, 2.0049 so this is the with the calculator this is the way you go about it now to save our time if I should come here to the previous questions let's see how we do that now I have um, the next question is 8.96 Square root of what? 8.96. You now ask yourself, 8.96 is closer to what value? 9. So you subtract it from 9, Abby. And when you subtract 8.96 from 9, you are going to have what? 0 0.04. So 9 minus 0 0.04. So the subtraction you get from this, you place it here. Because 9 minus 0 0.04 gives us 8.96. And you continue the same process. You make this, this will give us 9 minus 0 0.04 raised power of 1 over 2. And you're going to make this 9 to become 1 by bringing it out. So it's as if you now repeat all these things that we did here again. And you get your value. Right? Now, if you look at this also, the same thing as this. I have 1 all over square root of what? 9.02. Now, essentially by writing it as saying... Um, 9.02 raised power what? 1 over 2, everything over 1. And if you apply your indices here, this will give us 9.02 raised power what? Minus 1 over 2, right? And you ask yourself, what will I add with 9? That give me 9.02. It is 0 0.02. So we can write it as saying 9 plus 0 0.02 to the power of what? Minus 1 over 2. And you are going to make your 9 1 by doing what I did here now you do the same thing right so and you make 9 1 like I said earlier so from here the same thing as here too you ask yourself what will you add with 1.02 that'll give you what will you 1.02 and that is 0 0.02 so it will be 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power of what 4 right and so on and so forth don't forget, if this is 4, let's say now this is 4, that means you take your expansion to be, that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because the power of that guy is 4. So that is how, and if this is, um, and if this is 3, right, that means you come and count from here, if you have to use that formula, it will now be 1, 2, 3, 4, use 4, because that is 3. If it is 4, you use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because that is 5, and you put your value. So the key word is, the first guy must always be what? Must always be 1. Is that the key now? And so on and so forth. Now in this case, now that we have 0 0.98, you ask yourself, what will I use and add to 0 0.98? What will I do that will give me 0 0.98? Now you ask yourself, 0 0.98 is close to what value? It's close to 1. So 1 minus 0 0.9 is to give us 0 0.002. So it's closer to 1 like I said. So 1 minus 0 0.98 is going to give us 0 0.002. Abi, it will be 1 minus 0 0.02. When you subtract these two, you are going to have this value, which power of what? 3. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.